exercise 16, Creo 2.0 parametric. In this exercise, we're going to take a look at the functionality inside Creo 2.0 when it comes to working with family tables. Other systems actually call this configuration, so it's very similar in many ways, and there are some differences as well. We're just going to take a look at a very basic uh, example here. In this case, we have a, a part, the ratchet, that we worked on in the introductory class. What we're going to do is we're going to make two configurations or a family table that will have one part in its original format with the cuts, the, the machine functions or features that are on the part, and the other one we're going to have all those features removed so it'll just be like uh, it's straight out of the mold. So post a pre-manufactured and a post-manufactured version. So let's begin. Begin by opening up shrink this down to size here, Hit file and open, and in your sample exercises, exercise 16, you'll find two, you'll find the exercise 16 family, you don't want to open that one up, you just want the exercise 16, hit open. Okay. Hold on a second, I just resized the wrong one here. Okay, and as you can see with this exercise, let me turn off some of the planes and such that aren't necessary. And you can see this is the ratchet we worked on in the introductory class. Now what we want to do is make two configurations, and you can make an infinite amount of configurations. It actually brings up like, like an Excel-based table, but it's not Excel. Uh, it's, it's its own spreadsheet. So it's pretty easy. It's just a matter of going up to the top where it says Model Intent, clicking on that, and clicking on Family Table. Once the Family Table starts up, this is what you get. You get this, um, you have the part name, and there's some options here, and then you'll see the instance and some additional information. Actually, some of this is things that uh, I didn't really want in here. Let me just delete some of these. This is from the example I created. Your file will not have any of these things in there. Okay, so we start off and it just gives you some instructions on it. So this is normally what you would get. And right over here, there's two little buttons. The first one is the insert a new instance and a selected row. Click on that two times. Now it will give it a name automatically. You could go in and change the instance name or even a common name. So there's variations there that you could fiddle with if you need to. We're just going to let it go with the, um, the instance and instance one here. We're not going to change those. But what we do want to do is add and delete the table columns. So click on this. And then once you click on that, you could see it brings up this little option here. Now you have to pick from dimensions and features. Well first of all with dimensions, one of them that I'd like to get actually just so happens to be up here right now, but if you click on all the different surfaces of the model you'll see it will bring up virtually every dimension that's on there. It's just a matter of selecting the surfaces. Now what we're looking for is this 0.5 inch diameter that you see here. So this circle. Let's go ahead and click on that. Okay, so that's for dimensions. Now you could click on Feature, and the Menu Manager appears. And what we can do with the Feature, uh, we want to basically um, take Extrude 6, click on that, Extrude 5, and Extrude 4, and bring them into that. You could go ahead and hit OK, and now you'll see this list here. Now when there's an extrusion, as you see here, 6, 5, and 4, these are, for example, these features in the, the head here. Those are machine features, some of which we might not want to see in the pre-machine version. So this is my, maybe what you would send to the molding department. Uh, so here, we would just, uh, let's say for this first instance, we'll say that this is the, the uh, pre-machine version. So we'll just hit N for no, N for no for extrude 5, and N for no extrude 4. And we're going to keep it at 0.5 for the diameter of that shaft. 
Now let's say there's a variation of the part. Maybe it's going to be a bit smaller, different size, what have you. Uh, basically in this case, um, let's say we do want to keep some of these intact. Like um, we're definitely going to high extrude 6. So hit N for no on that one. Extrude 5 no for that one. But let's say we're not going to have the same recess. So we could go ahead and hit uh, yes. Well, actually the uh, recess will be shown there, I should say. These will be hidden. And then the diameter on this particular one for that shaft, we're going to make it a little bit lighter weight. So it's going to be 0 0.375. And once you got those in there, there's this button over here, Verify Instance. Go ahead and click on that. And you could go ahead and hit Verify. And one of the cases, it says that there's a failure. Now this will come up if there's something wrong and you can't actually create a feature. Most likely it's because I have that extrude 4 in the options. Let's hit Close. And let's try and change that. Let's go just hit No for right now. And let's verify it again. And I still get that. Um, so I'm not quite sure what that issue is. It actually might be a matter of the diameter, perhaps. I'm going to go ahead and hit close again. Let's change it. Let's make it larger. It's 0 0.55. Verify. Okay. Not sure why I'm getting that failure. I've done. I just did this 15 minutes ago. I've done it for a couple of years now. Um, curious why it's happening now but regardless let's go ahead and hit close one of them was successful so we can pretty much still get a good idea of what needs to be done there maybe it just doesn't like that change to 0.55 again let's actually turn some of these on Okay, apparently there's just something strange going on here. Most likely yours should work just fine if you change it to 0.375. Let's go ahead and hit close. And now hit OK. Now what you should have uh, when we try and reopen the part, go ahead and click on open, find that same part, hit open. You should see the instances that you just created listed. And you can pick which one you want. So ex example uh, 16, the first instance that we have. I hit open, we could see that it actually generated the pre machine version of it. So basically, that's in summary, that's this, that's this exercise. I might end up redoing this one just because of that failure that I was getting. But regardless, um, I think you get the idea. And the next exercise, exercise 16b, will go into more detail with a part that we built from scratch. And uh, we'll have several variations of that particular part. And that concludes exercise 16.